Welcome to Experience Dharma Kava, an opportunity to hear directly from those who are either presenting or benefiting from the advanced solutions that Dharma Kava has to offer. On today's episode, we'll be talking with Bill Siebert, Business Development Manager for Airport Solutions, about reducing errors and increasing value with exit lane breach control. Thanks for tuning in. Good morning, Bill. Thank you for joining us. Uh, first of all, tell us about yourself and your role as Business Development Manager for Airport Solutions. Thank you, and thank you for the opportunity. My role as as Business Development Manager for Airport Solutions is um, is to deal directly with uh, the airport vertical and, um, and, and also with, with architects. Uh, so I'm dealing with architects on the front end uh, as uh, these projects are coming out and then uh, also dealing with the airports to uh, in- ensure that our product gets um, into the airports and to make sure that they understand the technology that they are getting and what it can do for their airport. What advantages does exit lane breach control or ELBC offer over traditional security guards? So exit lane technology offers airports the convenience uh, to be operational 24 hours a day, seven days a week, 365 days a year uh, without the additional expense of of overtime, uh, worries of, of someone calling out sick, and more importantly, it doesn't have that human error factor so that the technology is always on and the airport doesn't have to worry about, you know, the uh, shift changes, uh, the security guard possibly looking another way. So it takes away completely that human factor that they currently have. Now, given the tight budgets that some airport administrators are dealing with, uh, what return can they expect on their investment? So depending on the number of lanes that they're looking at, and which is in relation to the size of the airport and their security needs, uh, the return on investment can be in as little as 18 months. Uh, This is assuming uh, the cost to staff an exit lane roughly runs an airport approximately $150,000 a year. Uh, When you take in the salaries, when you take in all the benefits, uh, the number that we've always gone with is is at one hundred fifty thousand dollars a year. Uh, so, depending upon you know the, the the number of lanes, it could be as little as eighteen months. Tell us about the different configurations that are available to accommodate different spaces and needs. Sure. So, uh, uh, Dormacaba offers multiple widths, lengths, and door configurations, and that depends on the space the airport has available, and then also. Uh, their their security needs at that particular airport. Um, in the United States, uh, the widths are more dependent on on the ADA laws uh, for clear door width opening. Uh, so, for instance, um, we have a 36 inch model and a 44 inch uh, width model, um, and that's a clear door width opening, uh, 36 and 44 inches. And that helps to accommodate wheelchairs, carts, gurneys, uh, whatever they need to get through that lane. Um, it's going to accommodate that those type of, of situations and those needs. Uh, for the door configurations and the length, um, I typically like to work uh, with each individual airport to create a solution uh, to meet their safety and security needs. Uh, since the units are modular, we can also add to the lanes for, for future growth. You know, the width, of course, we've got to look at ADA and, 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 and look at clear door width uh, opening. Um, but then we also look at each individual airport and their needs uh, to help them uh, find a solution that's best for them as far as the number of lanes, um, the length, and the door configurations. What are some of the technologies that allow ELBC to be fully automated, yet completely effective and reliable? Uh, We use a combination of sensors and video analytics uh, to determine the direction a person is walking, whether that's a passenger or whether that's a a person um, 
uh, trying to breach the airport. Um, and this combination of, of the sensor technology and the video analytics has, has uh, proven to be extremely reliable for us uh, for not only the security needs of the airport, uh, but also to help reduce false alarms. Uh, so the unit is, is configurable to where the airport can tell us how they want the system to operate rather than us installing the system and telling them, this is how it operates, this is what you get. Uh, we prefer that they tell us how they want it to operate so that we can meet, meet their needs. And since each airport is different, depending upon size, location, how they operate, um, those needs often change. And every airport is different. So I'd like to have that ability to have us configure the lanes to meet their particular needs. In addition to the sensor technology that we use, we also have over 30 different inputs and outputs, uh, which the airport can choose from. And these inputs and, and outputs allow the airport to choose what alarms they want to see, what messages they want to see, um, what they want to do remotely. Uh, so it's so it's really configurable to meet to meet their needs. Great. Well, I appreciate your time today and all of your input. Thank you very much. And thank you for the opportunity. Thank you for listening to Experience Dormacaba. To learn more about the solutions we discussed today, please visit dormacaba.us.